Hey YouTube, Ark here. Today, we're gonna walk through how to set up your Fujifilm X-Series camera as a webcam and use that webcam in applications that are not natively supported by its already released webcam software. So in order to do this, we're gonna need a third-party program as well as the webcam software from Fujifilm. I am currently shooting on an X-T4, so the X-T4 will be my demo camera. Uh, the Fujifilm has already released a list of video cameras that are compatible with the Fujifilm webcam software. So feel free to check that list out. I'll provide a link in the description below for that. Um, speaking of links in the description below, I will also post a video to Fujifilm's uh, video on how to set up your camera and the internal settings that you need to have set before using your Fujifilm camera as a webcam. These are recommendations directly from Fujifilm. I have my camera set up that way and it works for me, so highly recommend following that video, but we will not be going over the camera settings for the body for this tutorial. This also works with Skype. I've tested that off camera as well um, and probably will work for many others as well. I cannot speak to those programs as I haven't tested them myself, but likelihood is it will work for those as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Chrome, open up a new tab on Chrome, and then type the Fujifilm X webcam software. And you're going to go here to the Fujifilm X webcam software download page, how to install, just scroll down, and then this is the download page, keep scrolling, I agree, and download. So we're gonna wait for that to download. Okay, once it's done downloading, there it is. You're gonna unzip it using whatever unzip program you have. I'm gonna do the English version. I'm just gonna hit setup.exe, next, I agree, next, next, please wait. So we're gonna wait for that to install. Oh, it's done, that was easy. Close. You must restart your system for the configuration changes to be made. We'll restart later, so I'm gonna go ahead and select no. If you wanna restart at that point, you're more than welcome to. Just click yes to do so. Next thing we're going to do is go to the ManyCam website. This is the free software that we're gonna to use to route the Fuji X webcam to OBS. So we're gonna go type in ManyCam, and then the first thing you see pops up, click that, there's a buy now option, but you can download this for free. So we're gonna do that, download for Windows. All right, now that's done downloading, we're gonna go ahead and run the installer. We'll hit accept, accept, and let that do its thing. While that's running, some notes to be made about uh, the camera selection and kind of what it what we're t what we're doing here. You're uh, limited on your output frame rate and resolution by Fujifilm, so that is uh, unfortunate. I think it's uh, 1024 by 768 or something like that. Um, so it's not full HD, uh, but you can get that with a capture card. This is simply a solution for those who want a quick, uh, painless way to set up your camera directly to your computer without having to get a capture card or HDMI. Okay, so that is done. We're gonna go ahead and click finish. Okay, and then once many, many cam is done, you'll see this here. Um, I'm not gonna do an account right now. I, I'm just gonna stick with this. So this is your basic setup. Now my webcam or my Fujifilm camera is connected to another PC at the moment. So this is on my main, I'm getting this set up on my main PC. Um, so you're gonna see a black screen here. This is the image. If it's not working for your camera, this is what you'll see, period, end of story. Now I will also link Fuji's tutorial on how to set up your camera in the link below. I'm not gonna go through that in this video. This is just a quick, painless, this is how you set it up. Um, so follow their tutorial on setting up your camera and all of the functions for your camera first before doing this. Uh, once you get the camera set up, you can go through and, and follow this portion of the, of the software tutorial and you'll be able to use your Fujifilm X-T4 inside of OBS. So then we're gonna go ahead and minimize this and then we'll open up OBS Studio. There it is. Okay, so once we have that opened up, we're gonna add a new source and we'll go to video capture device and we'll name this Fuji Cam because I'm really creative that way. 
and then OK. And then boom, there it is. Now you'll have some, obviously, the Fujifilm X webcam as an option, but what you'll notice is if you select that and it's plugged in, it'll gray it out. It won't be available as a selection option. And that's just because Fujifilm camera or the Fujifilm X webcam, the X webcam software doesn't support UVC. So what we have to do is use the mini cam to grab the image from the camera and then that creates a virtual webcam that you can then select in OBS, the mini cam virtual webcam option. Um, you don't really need to change any of this unless you really want to. I've left it at de device, de device default. Words are hard sometimes, and it seems to be working great for me. So leave it there. And now when I say great, there is some lag, but I think that has to do more with the, I'll say, limitations of the USB-C to USB 3.0 conversion process kind of I, I'm going to look into some different cables to see if I can't get a better image but I mean this software is brand new it's version one so who knows how good it'll be in the long run but for those of you that just kind of want that quality you know mirrorless camera look I mean right now this is the best we've got from a Fujifilm perspective without having to pay hundreds of dollars for overpriced capture cards that are on the market right now so this is the the best solution I found it works um, using it right now in the bottom left hand corner I've noticed that you know the frame is a little laggy and that's just that's just the nature of the beast right now, unfortunately. So um, I haven't, if I figure out a solution or a workaround, I'll release a version two of this video. Um, but for right now, this is the best that I've seen. This is the best image quality that I've got. Um, so it, it seems to be, you know, working decently. Got that nice depth of field, got my face in focus. Like I said, I'm using a 35 millimeter lens. Do not recommend it for this purpose, but my other wide angle lens is in the mail. So I haven't had a chance to actually use that yet. So I'm sitting farther back away than I normally would to try and even keep just my head in frame for a talking head. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in. That's a really short, quick example of how you can get this workaround set up for your Fujifilm X series camera. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.